kind of excited today because we have our chili here. Um, I've got my fork. Oh, it's leaking. Disgusting. Okay, so I've got to get that in there quick because it busted the seams. Um, anyhow, we have our chili. I'm going to add my four cups of water. I'm going to do it in the pressure cooker for 60 minutes on manual and then do a natural pressure release for 20 minutes. I am going to serve this with cornbread. All right, I've got to get it in there. Okie dokie. So I am going to set this for 60 minutes. Um, you can see everything in here. Beans and the meat and the seasoning. So here we go, it's on 60 minutes and I'm gonna add my four cups of water. Seems like a lot of water, but whatever. Anyhow, I'm gonna toss on the lid and seal it and see what happens 60 minutes from now. I am gonna start making my cornbread. I am gonna serve it with cornbread. And um, here's the cornbread mix that I'm using, just generic old, you know, well, it's not generic, but just the regular old Jiffy. I'm also going to have, um, some cheese and sour cream and hot sauce to serve with the chili. I'll be back later, you guys. See you in an hour. So here's our chili, you guys. Looks all right. I could smell it when I first opened it, but now I can't smell anything. But then again, I've I've got allergies that are really bothering me, so I can't really smell very well right now. So I'll keep you posted as to how it tastes in just a few minutes. Hey, this is kind of runny, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a teaspoon of cornstarch. I'm gonna add this in and see if that helps thicken it up a little bit. I'll let you know. So here I have my cornbread. And I just added my cheese. Some people like to add hot sauce and some sour cream to theirs. I don't. Um, I don't care for the sour cream or the hot sauce. I'm just going to go ahead and dig in with it just like this. All right, you guys. This deserves like a 10. This is really good chili. I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> Sorry, you're like seeing the bottom of my cornbread, but... I pulled a piece off and this is so, so good. I will certainly make this one again. I had to come back and do a recording just to share with you. This is amazing. So I'm really excited about this meal. It was very easy. It's going to be a zero on my chart. Um, as you can tell, I like it. It was a great recipe, actually. I was very impressed. I was starting to get a little discouraged after... Um, the Hawaiian chicken and the honey chicken not tasting very flavorful. This was a treat, actually. I dig it. I'll make it again. Everybody that ate it in my house, they all liked it, and we will have seconds. Um, well, not seconds, but we'll eat some leftover tomorrow for lunch. It was definitely worth making, and I hope you guys make it and enjoy it as well. Take care.